Okay, greetings everyone. Greetings. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 Progressive Discussions, Consumer Advocate. This is a special video. I am here at the local Lodi Home Depot and I just spoke to an employee that says these plants, if they are in poor condition in any way, shape or form, they are not allowed to mark them down as managers special because they are on consignment, which, which doesn't make sense, which means they're probably going to return them and the plants will probably die and get put into a dumpster. This is my consumer advocate video. I'm, as you can see, all the beautiful plants are out. Tis the season, you got seeds, you got bulbs, you got everything, okay? It is spring of 2019. Here are the lovely bromeliads. Pink quill cyanacea, I highly recommend this. But anyway, it's, it's really a talantia. But anyway, look at the baby orchids. But look at this, look at this. One of the most popular plants known, the snake plant, look at this. It's just sitting here with, in no soil at all with a cracked, busted, flimsy pot and they won't mark it down. They refuse to do manager special. Look how, this is one of the most durable house plants you can have. They can withstand low light, medium light, whatever. Um, they were voted one of the top air purifiers, natural home air purifiers known. Look at this. I could save this plant very easily if they would mark it down from 398. Incredible. They will, they flat out will refuse to do a manager's special. And there's, there are some others like that. It's incredible. They won't do a manager's special. Look at the snake plant. It's just sitting here in no soil with a crack pot. Okay, they won't do it. I, no. I, I, yes. Do you know why? Because why? So the, uh, it's a private company. A they vendor write, that yes, comes in? Yes. So what the happens is that it goes like back that. to them. Yes, they're going to send them back and they're going to get a default. That's why Home Depot cannot, oh. Home Depot cannot come. So that's why the store manager cannot say, do manager special discount, blah, 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 and then put a sticker Some, on. Sometimes, no, they're not doing that. If you, I don't know if you want to see if a manager is. I already robot. spoke to uh, the lady in charge. She goes, she told me what you told me. Yeah. It's not, it's a vendor, it's a separate yes, vendor. Yes. It's a shame though, you know. It is, because you gotta see it, what they have on outside, and they all put it into the trash. Yeah, because these things can be easily saved. Look how good this oh, looks. Yes, yes. Look at uh, it, it's beautiful, and, and, and it's a shame, you know. I, I mean, know, uh, uh, you gotta see what I have at home, beautiful things. You, re you probably rescued some... Um, not from here, sir. Not they're from not, here. They're not, they're not selling at the house. Uh, not even to, I'm a worker over here. Oh, oh, by the way, this bromeliad is actually a talantia. It's in the air plant family. Pink quill cyanacea. This is one of the best bromeliad to have because you can... I can never, I never, never have a chance of the bromeliad to bloom back. They all die on me. Uh, the, the flower dies. I have a beautiful green. But I got to the flowers. No. And when I keep water in the in the cup, gotta, it gets rotten. It rots on me. I put a water through inside of the cup. And that's all you do. In other words, you don't no, really no, I wet put the. Water, no, I put a water through here, and then it goes down the soil. And it seeps down, and you don't even have to uh, wet the soil. No, no. Maybe that's what I did. I wet the soil and I put oh, water no, in. No, no, no. Then it's too much water. Then it gets rotten. Yes, because of the. Um, the root, the hole was staying moist. That therefore they get rotten. Yes. It's easier to bring a plant back alive, it's wealth, and not if it's too much water. Like orchids are very sensitive for, uh, for yes. root rot. You have to use the ice cubes, I heard. No, no I have a spray bottle and a high spray. And once every 10 days, I put a little bit of water through the root, but otherwise every other day I spray the root. Because YouTube is wrong. They have people taking the orchid pot and soaking it in a bucket of water yes. submerged and leaving it for 20 minutes. You know how many uh, Phalaenopsis died? They, they, they got rotten. You know, but you're right. I think, I think... 
Uh, that's what I keep in. I have a, a plant now that that is got a three shootings. Three, like the babies, yeah. Branches, look at that. Three branches. So I have a, the the big one. I don't have a. And all you one. do is you you spray I, the roots. Yes, I spray the roots with water, and plus I have a, the spray food that I spray the right. leaves and the flowers. About once a week, you do the roots. Yes. You do like uh, like yes. a heavy a heavy spray, heavy spray, and then you. Yes, and even I even the leaves and the flower with the food. It's like the air plant, I bet, because with the Talansia sticks to the uh, tree in the rainforest, yeah. and uh, they just capture whatever moisture and humidity is. Yeah, but that's it's a different because. Well, the air there's air yes. circulation. Yes, yes. So nothing the, gets the rough. The mist, the mist, the hair. Yeah. It's a. In the greenhouse, they have a different, the, the, how do you call them? the heat, it's, it's a different. Yeah, because when you have air circulation in the yeah. wild, nothing has a chance to get rotten because no, the no, air is moves, always moving. And it gets dry, it moves and it gets dry. So. That's the thing, like uh, uh, if somebody has a problem with plants, the snake plant is easy, the cactus is easy, but... You know, but you can't. Oh, you know what kills plants? If you put it near the heat in the winter time, yes. forget it. it die, it'll kill the plant. Yes, yes, yes. And you mean with the ivy, English ivy? Uh, the, it's yeah. very. The pothos no ivy? No water. Don't water maybe twice a month with the, with the ivy. It's yeah. The other I one. Think it's with the snake plant. It's the same yeah, thing. all the doctor's well, offices, a, they yeah. all have this. Yeah, because they don't have a time at the pool of water. No, they're always busy with <laughs> patients, nonstop. Boom, boom, boom. So that's, uh, yes. Yeah. And the cactus. Yeah, of course. This is. Cactus wants a. Uh, I, I have a big clay pot and I have all succulents and different yeah. cactus in the, in the pot. Sunny window. Yes. And that's it. All right. well, unfortunately, sir, the bad one. If you want to find a manager, probably he's going to tell you the same. Yeah, thing. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make a big deal about. I'm not like that. You know, I, I, it is what it is. Why. The reason is because the vendor they're going to send them back and they're going to get the full refund from the insurance. Right, because a lot. Uh, not everything is from Home Depot corporate office. No. It's uh, independent vendors. Oh, you so three different vendors. Oh really? Outside. Yes. Oh wow. Oh, all right. Thank you very much. Okay, James P. Madonna, consumer advocate, progressive consumer advocate, progressive discussions, Mega Life Twenty One. I uh, got home from shopping at the local Aldi market, A L D I, and here we got we have. Deli selected roast beef. All right, with caramel coloring, finely sliced. All right. What? This looks like like Arby's, like Steakum. Uh, of course, that's uh, ground black pepper because I love horseradish, mayonnaise, and ground black pepper on my roast beef. But I also like my roast beef rare to medium rare. But this is. Deli selected. Now, what what deli selected this roast beef? You know, these corporations, they use words of exaggeration describing their product. It's like, I don't know if that's a meat byproduct or not. I really don't. Deli selected? Okay, this this bothers me with this company, Bob, Bob's Red Mill. Okay, this says premium quality egg replacer. Okay, but when I read the ingredients, it says soy flour. It doesn't mention anything about organic or non-GMO soy. Wheat gluten, which is fine. Well, look at this corn syrup solids. Sodium alginate. Now the corn syrup solids really bothers me. I'm very surprised at Bob's Red Mill. Now, I would get this if it was organic. 
and non-GMO. But it's not, so it could be genetically modified corn. Okay. This is definitely a great value. The most nutritious whole grain probably on the planet, amaranth, uh, also known by the Native Americans as uh, kiwicha. Okay, and it happens to be organic. So I'll definitely get two of them. I don't see any hemp protein though. They're really wiped out. Uh, let me see. Uh, nah, they're really wiped out probably because of the holidays. It's Saturday, the um, day before Easter, Sunday. Um, let's see. All right, so I'm doing pretty good. Now I'm going to um, get myself, if they have it, the uh, preserved duck eggs, the century eggs. This is James P. Madonna, the founder, not that I ever lost it, the founder and creator of the Facebook group International Brotherhood of Polyvites. I want to welcome my wonderful moderators of the group, Mr. Uh, Jeff Zambello and Ken Thiessen. Very proud to have them. I just got home. I'm making a lovely dinner, a seafood scampi uh, with a, a base scallops, shrimp, and a creamy scampi sauce with linguine and vegetables, and, and I got some, um, then I went to the Dollar Tree. Uh, oh yeah, I got some organic uh, milk. Went to the Dollar Tree, I got laundry detergent. Now, I want you guys, don't laugh at me now. I want you to see something. Notice the ergonomic handles. Notice they're only a dollar each. This is the uh, stain removing $1 laundry detergent. Notice the nice position of the handle. Now, eventually, these will become empty and my idea is this. Now watch. I could fill them up with anything I want. Maybe steel buckshot. Maybe play sand. Whatever. Watch this. Hold on. Look. My whole hand fits right through. And they are so comfortable. Because they are ergonomic handles. Look at this. Now, what does this remind you of, jabronis? All you pencil neck geeks out there. What does this remind you of? Eh? Eh? Ah, I'll tell you what this reminds you of. It reminds you of a pair of very inexpensive kettlebells. Look, my hand fits right through. Ergonomic handles, you jabronis out there. Look. Ah, look at this. Hey, 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 hey. Instead of going to a sporting goods department in a department store and purchasing all those fancy kettlebells for um, people that want to do aerobic kettlebell swinging or kettlebells for women, here you go, the Dollar Tree, La liquid laundry detergent ergonomic handles look at me you jabronis look oh by the way i want to say also hello to kashi azad of sydney australia he's arriving this weekend i believe for the first time ever in the united states in southern connect a cunt yeah, that's right the state of connect a cunt and he is doing probably one of the finest seminars 
that can ever be done. The man is generously giving out um, a pair of light but authentic cone-shaped Persian meals and one shanna board to the people that are attending his seminar. No one else does this but Kashi Azad. He is a head coach of international Palavan competition. He is a true Palavan. Okay, he is Persian and he represents a company called Persian Yoga. So with these, I don't want to call them cheap, with these uh, kettlebells that would actually work, I salute, double salute to Kashi Azad. Now, getting back to these liquid laundry detergents with the ergonomic handles. Look at me, look at me. Now just picture this full of buckshot, either lead or steel, or sand. Just picture, look, 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 at, look, my hand goes right through you jabronis, you pencil neck geeks. Look, look. Oh, James P. Madonna. I'm telling you, I, I love being a consumer advocate. And the segment of my weekly show, which also goes on YouTube, it is done live stream from the International Brotherhood of Palavans with my co-host, Jeff Zambello, sometimes Donald Boos. Okay, look at this. It's called Consumer Advocate Sucker Patrol. Don't get suckered into spending a lot of money for lighter weight aerobic oriented kettle bells because I just showed you how to save lots of money from the Dollar Tree with the new laundry detergent, liquid laundry detergent. In this case, stain removing laundry detergent that I use, stain removing for one dollar. And look at the ergonomic handles, you jabronis. Look at that. Look how, how comfortable. So forget about spending all kinds of money. Look at me. I'm telling you, I, I, this, this was completely spontaneous. When I picked these up off the shelf, I really did need laundry detergent. When I picked these off the shelf, I put my hand in it. I felt how comfortable it was with the ergonomic handles and I, and right away a light bulb appeared over my head and I started doing this in the dollar store. I don't give a shit if people are staring at me, fuck them. I started doing this and there you go. Consumer advocate, oh, by the way, that seafood scampi with linguine smells really good. I can't wait to eat it with base gallops at it. I will see you, well, it's Thursday tonight. I'll see you tomorrow night when I go live on the International Brotherhood of Polyphons. Bye-bye. You jabronis out there. Oh, by the way, this is a marlin. I used to go to the Florida Keys when my aunt and uncle lived there. Okay, this is James P. Madonna, consum Consumer Advocate, uh, Sucker Patrol for Mega Life 21, Progressive Discussions. I'm here at the Aldi Market in Lodi, New Jersey, and I just want to show you exactly how incompetent upper executive management is in corporate America. Here, you have a situation where they have a product that was coming in every week actually more than one product in this case it is uh, the gallon of certified organic milk okay 
in gallons. Every week it's been coming in, every week it flies out. Same thing with the uh, frozen shepherd's pie. Same thing with the uh, wild caught um, Alaskan pink salmon with the skin on. You know, you, certain items that sell very well that come in week in and week out. Okay, it's, you know it sells. You know it's a hot seller. All of a sudden, it stops coming in. It happened right now with the gallons of organic milk. It happened with the shepherd's pie. It happened with the uh, frozen Alaskan pink salmon fillets. Okay, with the skin on, which gives you the uh, omega-3 fats. And uh, they know the item sells and all of a sudden it stops coming in and management gives you an attitude where, you know, they have no idea why it stopped coming in and they'll they say something stupid that insults insults your intelligence like they'll say um it's out of season well how can shepherd's pie be out of season if it's made from ground beef and mashed potato okay um here we have the let's see uh, oh good they do have it oh thankfully they finally have something great for now, okay. Blueberry kefir. All right. All right. So they do have that, but there are many products that sell consistently every week, and uh, suddenly it stops coming in for weeks, sometimes months on end. Uh, st stuffed clams, um, oregonata or whatever stuffed clams um, uh, it's the same thing they get a big shipment it totally flies out of here and then it stops coming in for the longest period of time so this is all the this is how corporate things these are the people they hire i'm going to take a wild guess and say they hire imbeciles um that uh, do not get paid as much as competent um, uh, executives. No, nah, that's mine. Excuse me, sir. Sorry, I'm working. Oh, okay. I yeah, I know. Well, I'm doing a video about certain subjects, like things that you normally get every week that all of a sudden don't fly out of here. Consumer advocate information for, uh, for uh, online shows. Okay, like for instance, uh, I'll give you an example. Okay, as you can see, I'm leaving all these market. Now headed for another store. Um, you see how rude that store manager was? How arrogant he was? Looking in my black nylon lo a laundry bag that I use as an oldie bag because I refuse to pay for their bags uh, but they do allow you to bring your own bag so he's looking in my bag suspiciously I tell the guy excuse me that's my bag and then he goes well I work here you know he started acting you know authoritative to me uh, and I says well that it's my bag I got groceries in there you know, I'm not buying their damn bags. I'm not falling for that scam. This is all these in Lodi, New Jersey. So, you know, as you heard on the video, because I said, uh, maybe I should, shouldn't have said anything because I mentioned the reason for the video. He tells me it's against company policy, you know, to take videos or photos in the store. And then I said, well, you know what you're doing here in connection also with my video with my consumer advocate sucker patrol video is typical corporate America it's all typical corporate fucking America okay so now I'm gonna enter another store okay here I um, just cooked uh, two large 85% lean burgers with swiss cheese and um hot sauce underneath it 
here I got various potatoes. I'm trying the for the first time the purple potatoes. All right. Interesting. These are not sweet potatoes. These are real purple potatoes. From what I understand, the uh, South American Indians, the Incas in the Andes Mountains ha uh, grew hundreds of different varieties of potato where they originally came from, as well as the peanut and quinoa, so on and so forth. All right, now, this is my problem. All right. Here's my cast iron skillet. These burgers are from Aldi. All right? 85% lean. Look at all of the liquid that came out of these so-called 85% lean burgers. All right? Look at this. Look at this. 85% lean? Yeah. Um, this only means that this is the second type of hamburger that I got from Aldi Market. All right. The, this one is more expensive. The other one was 75% lean. I think it's loaded with liquid as a filler, as a cheap filler. This is greed. This is greed. I wonder exactly who the CEO of all these is in Illinois what family owns the company if any this is corporate American greed look at that every burger that I've been getting that is frozen um, and already formed into patties has this okay has this my next step is to get the ones that are not frozen and test them. Um, the the uh, non-frozen uh, hamburger patties. And if the unfrozen ground beef does the same thing, then I am absolutely convinced that they're cheating the consumer by adding any type of filler that they possibly can. All these market okay I had a problem with them recently for several reasons as you can plainly see by the other consumer advocate videos one of the biggest ripoffs going the parking meter the parking meter is one of the biggest political scams going and here you have parking meters in Englewood, New Jersey, and uh, it's not good. It's, it's, it's old as the hills, but it's a scam. It's a legal scam. Okay, here's another parking meter. What a racket. What a scam. <clears throat> okay, this is very clever. <clears throat> Commodore Jeff Sambello to get people to slow down and use stop signs and prevent accidents. They got the flashing red LED lights, as you can see. Alright. It seems like every pair of stop signs is like that around here, which is really good. I'd say next to a high speed bump. It's one of the best inventions for forcing people to slow down and preventing accidents. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.